Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I have something exciting to share with you today. This isn't all of it. Most of it's outside because I have been busy in the review that I am preparing for this piece of equipment. But we're gonna talk about the WizMaker Artisan 01. This thing is pretty incredible, especially for what you get for the price. You can make all sorts of things, things like catch trays, 3D carved items. This was cut out of a solid piece of pine. It will do metal engraving. This is a, an aluminum dog tag that I engraved with one of the included bits. And you can even do 3D carvings. So this thing is feature packed. In this video, you're gonna to get to see everything that they sent to me, which is a lot more than what I have here. So let's get into it. Today we are going to be talking about the Artisan 01, sort of a desktop size-ish CNC machine that WizMaker sent over for me to review. Um, and we're not going to go, this isn't the full review as you can tell from the title. This is a first look and we're going to talk about the items that they sent over that will be eventually included in the review. So let's start with the machine here. And as you can see right in front of me, let me shine some light with the included light. Uh, on here, we have our DC spindle. We have linear rails on the X axis and the Z axis. On the Y axis, we have linear rods and a trapezoidal lead screw uh, for our motion. Same lead screw that you see here for the X axis. So that is just some minor stuff. Let's switch to the overhead cam here and we'll talk about some of the included items. You're going to get the standard array. We've got a uh, Looks like six different bits in point zero two and zero four sizes. We've got a Z offset, uh, a setting plate there. We've got our USB cable, a little archeological brush here to dust away our chips and sawdust to see what our beautiful project is. We've got wrenches for the ER11 call it. We've got some hold down clamps here and the associated screws with that, some Allen wrenches. On the front of the unit, you will see an offline controller. And let me tell you, this thing is super handy. It uh, just kind of magnetically mounts there to the front and it allows you to control the X axis, the Y axis, the Z axis, and the A axis that we'll talk about a little bit later. So those are some of the basic features of what you see in front of me. Now we will switch gears and I'm gonna show you some of the other items that they sent along as well. The next item that they sent is this five inch fixture kit. So it's basically just a vise and that's going to allow you to mount flat stock to the bed. So if you think metal, you know, if you're engraving a an award, a flat uh, piece of metal, stainless steel, brass, uh, whatever have you, then this is going to allow you to attach that to your bed. So that's pretty cool. Next, they sent the 500 watt spindle kit. So a couple of parts here. You've got a new control box. This is going to attach to the main control box and that's going to provide power to this larger spindle that you see here. And for comparison, roughly compare in size there, pretty big, beefy, not quite uh, the same, you know, probably power as you'd find on a uh, trim router like what I have out there on my long mill, but it uh, also has an ER11 call it with a one eighth inch um, holder there. So you've got that. It does come, let me set this down upright. I've already rolled it off this table and dropped it on my foot once. Uh, it does come with a new mounting clamp, but uh, it looks to be about the same size as the one that's already on there. So I don't think you need to replace that. And then of course it comes with a new cable that is going to attach this unit to the larger motor and then a power cord. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what I can do with that. Now here's an accessory I am super excited about. This is the fourth axis for the CNC machine. Now, what is a fourth axis, you might ask? Again, let's go to the overhead cam. cam. 
Now, typically on a CNC machine, you will replace the Y gantry with the rotary. And at that point, your bit can move in the X axis and the rotary now is essentially the Y axis. So you only have those two degrees of X and rotation. And then of course your bit can move up and down for your Z axis. Well, a fourth axis, or often called the alpha or A axis, gives you a true fourth axis. So now your bit can still move in the Y axis, the X axis, and the Z axis, but you also add rotation as a fourth axis. So that is pretty exciting. So this kit, you get the rotary axis here, You've got your wiring, you've got this uh, setting peg basically, you're gonna put that in there and that allows you to set your offsets and things like that on the rotary axis. And then you've got some pins here for tightening uh, the chuck. You've got a bunch of mounting screws and your associated hardware. So that is a pretty cool addition. Uh, we'll see how far I get with that. I don't, I've never used a rotary on my CNC before and it's gonna take some special software to uh, dig into that fourth, fourth axis. So stay tuned for that. But that's not all. As Steve Jobs used to say, there's one more thing. So one moment, please. They have even included a dust collection system. So we have a metal canister, kind of like a little tiny shop vac here. And that is running into a cyclone dust separator. And then we have our clear bin to collect all of that dust. And then this long hose is going to attach to the top there. And then it's a little unwieldy. I'll show you a trick in a moment. So let me take that off just so I don't knock things over. And then this end you can either use to clean up all your sawdust at the end of a job or it attaches to a magnetic dust boot. Let me get this out of the way and I'll show you how that works. Oh, the trick. Yeah, so this is just the shipping foam that this comes in and it really makes it a lot easier to make this kind of portable and keep it together. And I think you can probably run it like this. We'll see, I'll let you know in the review. Before I attach the dust boot, let me show you a little bit about this offline controller. Here we have the which axis you want to adjust, how far you want it to go, and then your input knob. So I'm going to turn this to X. I've got it set to 10 millimeters. And then I just turn the knob, and I can move my axis in whatever direction I wish to go. That is very cool and very handy. I wish I had this on my long mill. Let me show you how the magnetic dust boot works. So it simply slides on the spindle. You have this knob right here to tighten that down and then your hose will go right there. Now what makes this extra cool is that it is magnetic. The bottom part detaches and you have magnets in there that hold it on. So that makes putting this on and off super easy. If you need to change out your bits, this whole section here comes off as well. So very, very handy. So now we have access to the collet and we can change out our bit. And when we're done, we simply attach that back. So very, very cool. All right, there you have it. This is the Artisan 01 from WizMaker. I am super excited to put this machine to the test, so stay tuned for future projects and my full review. I would really appreciate it if you would take a moment to hit the like button if you enjoyed this content. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and make sure to hit that bell so you know when I drop new content. As always, I enjoy the time that we get to spend together here on the channel, so let's keep on learning, burning, printing, and cutting together. Take care, everyone.